Liberty Justice Center. The Liberty Justice Center. The Liberty Justice Center. Liberty Justice Center. The Liberty Justice Center. The Biden administration proposed rule to mandate vaccines on employers and workers at places with 100 workers or more. That is blatantly illegal. And that's why at Liberty Justice Center, we are prepared to fight that. We are being told that we uh, need to vaccinate or we will no longer uh, be employed. I have 25 years of nursing experience. It's devastating for me to think that I may lose my job over my choice to not vaccinate and I'm not alone. This new nationwide vaccine mandate on employers and employees, it's illegal. We are ready to take them to court to put a stop to it. We filed this lawsuit to stand with all Americans, to stand with workers, and to stand with small business owners like Brandon Trost-Claire. This would be a huge impact on my business and many businesses across America. In my opinion, this mandate is not a health savior or anything. This is an economic disaster. Right now, more than two dozen states suing the federal government over a looming corporate vaccine mandate. It's not so much important as to what is actually decided, it's who decides. And this is what this lawsuit is about. The Biden administration has been facing allegations that it colluded with social media to send or COVID messages it didn't agree with. When I filed my lawsuit, it was because shortly after the time that Jen Psaki, the then press secretary of the White House, made a public statement over the White House pulpit where she admitted that they were working with tech companies to make these very actions. My account on Facebook was frozen. My account on Twitter was slowly uh, taken down after that as well. Uh, it was only through efforts with Daniel and the Liberty Justice Center that I was able to get some of this back and track it. Justin, you put up um, a very fact and evidence-based graph about the realities, the data behind masking children. We uh, do a data articulation of what is out there in published studies. We're bringing a lawsuit right now against Facebook, Twitter, and the U.S. government. What we're seeing here is a conspiracy, a collusion between the White House and these social media giant tech companies to censor people like Justin. Certainly there's no more important issue than whether or not our children have to wear masks to school and Justin was making a data-based presentation of his views on that issue. These tech companies are targeting one set of views, they're, they're going into the marketplace of ideas, and they're shutting down one set of ideas.